Hey guys, my name is Abhishek and welcome you to MBBS Treasure channel. Today we are going to read about monosaccharides, what are its structure and isomeric structures. I will also help you to easily remember the structures, how you can easily draw the structures, how you can easily remember the names of isomeric structures of the monosaccharides. It is a part of carbohydrate. Okay. So let's start. What is a monosaccharide? Monosaccharide, it is the simplest form of carbohydrates that cannot be further hydrolyzed into smaller units. Okay, so, the monosaccharides will not have further any smaller units when it is acted by water or hydrolysis. Then it is a building block of higher carbohydrates. Higher carbohydrate means it is a building block for disaccharides, then oligosaccharides, then polysaccharides. In the previous part of carbohydrate, I have said to you about that how the monosaccharide is divided. Like the presence of functional group, it is divided into aldoses and ketoses. And according to the number of carbon atoms, it is divided into trioses, tetroses, pentoses, hexoses and heptoses. And I have also said you about the examples. Now in this class, today we are going to see about the structures of these trioses, tetroses, pentoses, hexoses and heptoses. Okay. What is the uh, empirical formula of monosaccharide that we have learned? It is Cn. H2O whole N. Okay. According to the presence of functional group, it is divided into aldoses and ketoses. Aldoses means there will be presence of this functional group. And ketoses means there will be presence of this functional group. Then, then examples of trioses. According to the number of carbon atoms, trioses contains three carbon atoms. So let's draw three carbon atoms for aldoses, three carbon atoms. Okay. And for aldoses, it has functional group, this aldehydic group. So let's draw. And these monosaccharides are polyhydroxy means it is hydrolyzed. It means it contains hydroxy groups other remaining bonds will be hydrogen it it has completed its four bonds and in ketoses the same manner it has three carbon atoms three carbon atom let's draw then it has ketoses means ketonic group it has double bond o and three carbon atoms and the it means polyhydroxy means there will be other carbon atoms will be hydroxylated and hydro hydrogen atom will be there okay then what is the name of this compound and this compound the name of this is glycerol dehyde and the name of this will be because there are two hydroxy component then it will be called as dihydroxy acetone because there is a ketonic group similarly for tetroses there are four carbon atoms and for aldoses there will be aldehydic group and there will be ketonic group let's draw four then aldehydic group other one will be containing OH bond then hydrogen 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 and it has completed four then similarly this will be ketonic group then oh 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 h h h h and h what is the name of this compound and what is the name of this compound the name of this compound is erythrose And the name of this compound is erythrulose. Then similarly for pentoses, there will be five carbon atoms and one OH group, then other hydroxy groups. Okay. 
and for this similarly the name of this compound is known as ribose and the name of this compound is known as ribulose then in hexoses there are two that we have also discussed that is glucose and fructose for glucose there will be six carbon atoms and one will be aldehyde group other will be containing hydroxy groups listen this in this structure i am saying simply how to draw and how to remember the aldehyde group and ketonic group tetraoses tetroses compound means monosaccharides okay this is glucose six carbon atom and this is fructose okay and for seven carbon atoms for ketonic the name of this compound is glucoheptose and the name of this compound is sedoheptose glucoheptose and sedoheptose so now let's read about the structural aspects of monosaccharides it means that how the structure of monosaccharides can be represented it can be represented in three ways that is straight chain ring structure and boat or chair form structure straight chain means the general the monosaccharides are represented in this manner in which in a straight chain manner the carbon atoms will be present and the hydroxy groups and as well as the functional group will be present in a straight chain manner if i will show you examples in structure of glucose 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 it is a aldohexose containing six number of carbon atoms it contains six number of carbon atoms so if i will show you straight chain example or open chain structure open chain structure of glucose then how it will look listen there will be six carbon atoms okay 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 number of carbon atoms and there will be one aldehyde group and other uh, carbon atoms will be, will be containing hydroxy groups as well as oh h h oh h then oh h here it will be h and oh you have to remember that the third carbon atom c3 of glucose has conventionally opposite oh opposite h and oh in a manner and h and o h and h okay so it will be c1 it is c2 so it is 3 3 it is c4 c5 and c6 okay this is a open chain structure of glucose in which there are aldehyde group and it contains the hydroxyl or oh functional group then others are bonded with hydrogen atom the next is the ring structure or ring structure that is the fish it has fischer formula or howarth projection in aqueous solution the monosaccharides which contain five or more than five number of carbon atoms they exist mostly in 
closed ring structures okay closed ring structures and that ring structures is due to the formation of internal hemiacetal linkage or hemiketal linkage hemiacetal linkage is found in aldoses and hemiketal linkage is found in ketoses okay these are the type of linkages that are formed between c1 of aldoses and c2 of ketoses i can say c1 of aldoses or c2 of ketoses with the carbon atom with the other carbon atom that containing this oh group or hydroxy group of the same molecule okay how the ring structure is divided ring structure is divided into two types one is fischer formula and the second one is howard projection in the fischer formula there is the bond is present in a straight chain okay this is the bond hemiacetal bond or linkage that is present in a straight chain or it is represented in a straight manner if it will be represented in a closed ring like structure then it will be called as howard projection okay Howard projection is again divided into two types that is one is pyranose and second one is furanose pyranose it is in which the oxygen contains the first element of the ring and other there are five carbon atoms c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 it will be looking like a hexagon but in furanose the first element will be oxygen and other four elements will be the carbon atoms c1 c2 c3 c4 and it will be looking like a pentagon and next there will be the third form that can be represented of monosaccharides is the boat or chair form the most of the pyranose this pyranose structure can also be represented in the form of boat boat or in the form of chair form it is believed that the, this chair form is most thermodynamically stable than this boat form now if you will see the example of fischer and howard projection fischer formula and howard projection in this fischer formula there will be again similarly there will be six carbon atoms of glucose and there will be the c1 will be bonding with c5 carbon atoms with hemi acetal linkage okay so if this will be linking with hemi acetal linkage then it will be oh and it will be h and others will remain the same as it was okay so you can see this is the hemiacetal linkage that is represented in a straight manner so it is a fischer formula if the hemiacetal linkage will be represented in a ring like structure manner then how it will look as i said oxygen will be the first element then here will be carbon 1 carbon 2 carbon 3 carbon 4 and carbon 5 okay and as the glucose contains six number of carbon atoms six number of carbon atoms so here will be the sixth carbon atom here it will be h oh h oh oh and h as conventionally i have said and i will be also explaining why oh is here up and why h is here down and why oh is here down and why h is here up it has a different chemistry so we will read in further classes and now it has oh and h and it will be having h and ch2 oh okay